What is up you guys? So in this one, I'm going to guide you through or shed light on NVIDIA's Nemo text normalization feature. This is a very powerful pre-processing feature, especially when you're working with text-to-speech tasks. So you'd want to add text normalization to your Python TTS pre-processing workflow so that, you know, some terms are properly passed to the speech domain, right? I'll also be announcing a GPU giveaway as I did last year, but this time the GPU is NVIDIA's 3080 Ti Founders Edition. Now to be eligible to this giveaway, you'll have to register to attend GTC, which is taking place on March 21st till 24 this year. And so to be eligible, you have to register using the link I provide below. So you click on the link, then you hit register. You provide your email as such, for example, then you give it a certain password, then you authenticate. So by now I should receive an email, you verify, done correctly. And now I'm logging in, um, you enter your first name, last name, um, the organization or company, I'll put YouTube, France, industry, you can choose your industry, just put higher education, academia, job role, put um, researcher. Um, what type of application services are you working on? Well, you can put data science, you choose your own um, domain. I'll put data science, for example, conversational AI, and let's say um, AR and VR. Your gender, I'm a male, agree, save and continue. And there you go. So now you're in the GTC conference, you have your own account, right? And so you can view the catalog, see what sessions to really um, be eligible. You'd have to wait for the GTC to start and join the keynote live stream, which will be given by Jensen Huang, the CEO of NVIDIA. You can also look into the different sessions over here. They've got 964 sessions. So for example, you can filter by what interests you. So for example, if you're interested in women in AI, You've got sessions for women in AI, for example, empowering women in data science, go here and you can check my schedule and you can add what interests you as such, add to schedule, for example. You could also check what sessions are happening at certain dates, right? You've got this one, you've got 148 sessions on the 21st of March. For example, you've got Fundamentals of Deep Learning by Jen o Lee, who's a solutions architect at NVIDIA. Uh, you've also got Building Transformer-based Natural Language Processing Applications by Cheng Kuang Lee, a senior solution architect in NVIDIA. You've got Palab Maji, who's also a so senior solutions architect at NVIDIA, giving a session on Fundamentals of Deep Learning. Uh, Kevin McFall, Master Instructor in Deep Learning Institute DLI by NVIDIA, giving a session on applications of AI for predictive maintenance. You can also filter by primary topics. So for example, if you're interested in computer vision or conversational AI, NLP, you can tick that, see all the sessions related to conversational AI or natural language processing. For example, we've got this session building conversational AI applications by Adam Henrik Grzywakzewski, right? We've got other sessions, for example, Anthony Costa, a senior alliance manager at NVIDIA, um, giving this session. And yeah, that's how you pretty much choose your sessions, okay, at NVIDIA. So prizes will be awarded only to those who register for GTC using the link and attend some sessions. That's very important. You have to attend the session to be eligible for winning the 3080 Founders Edition GPU by NVIDIA. So hope to see you at NVIDIA GTC conference taking place on March 21st till 24th. And I'll personally be attending, watching some sessions. So I hope I'll be seeing you there. So before I start with the Python implementation using NVIDIA's Nemo conversational AI toolkit to build a voice swap model to convert any audio given audio to a computer generated one, it's really worth spending a bit of time to talk about what NVIDIA's Nemo actually is. First of all, here, here's the GitHub for NVIDIA's Nemo, and here's the official website with a really nice video. Um, so NVIDIA's Nemo is an extremely powerful toolkit when it comes to building your own state-of-the-art models for conversational AI. So it really has a very well typical conversational AI pipeline, which consists of text-to-speech synthesis, so TTS, automated speech recognition, ASR, and natural language processing, NLP. You can use a lot of pre-trained AI models 
uh, provided to us by NVIDIA for free. For example, you've got the Jasper 10 by five um, pre-trained model. You've got the QuartzNet, those are for ASR. You've also got the NLP, which are BERT based, uh, BERT by Google. And you've got the TTS, such as WaveGlow and Tacotron. Also before starting the lecture, I want to highlight that this lecture is just a brief description of NVIDIA's NEMO feature, which is text normalization. Now, what is text normalization? It's a part of the text-to-speech pre-processing pipeline, which could be used for pre-processing ASR tasks, automatic speech recognition, training transcripts. So instead of, you know, having to say something like 10kg, the text normalization feature of Nemo is able to realize that 10kg actually stands for 10 kilograms. Likewise, let's say we say something like $25,000. Text normalization feature of Nemo is also able to recognize that this actually refers to a certain currency. So while pre-processing these kind of stuff, while going from the text domain to speech domain, we have to make the speech domain sound more human-like, so natural language. So for that, this pre-processing tool could be highly beneficial for your pre-processing tasks between text and speech. Now, the Nemo text normalization is based on the so-called WFST grammars, which stands for Weighted Finite State Transducers, which is a particular or weighted instance of finite state transducers, FST, that is itself a finite state machine with memory taps inspired by or following the same language as Turing machines. So Turing machines here are used, or as Nemo text normalization is based on this WFST to give us the desired results. A note here is that Nemo text normalization uses Pinini, which I will show you now in our Python environment how to get it installed. So what is Pinini? It's a Python extension module for compiling, optimizing, and applying grammar rules. Now, Pinini, in our case, in Nemo text normalization case, is used to construct our WFSTs, and the created grammars can be exported and integrated into the well-known Sparrowhawk for production. The Nemo text normalization tool can also be seen as a generalization or an extension of this Sparrowhawk. Now currently, Nemo text normalization provides support for English and the toolkit is modular, easily extendable, and can be adapted to other languages and tasks like inverse text normalization. As we will see, the Python environment enables very easy combination of text covering grammars with neural networks. So now let's see on Python how to use text normalization in our Python text-to-speech pre-processing workflow. So I'm on Google Collab right now. And first, let me rename my Python notebook to something like text normalizer through Nemo. Okay. And first thing, what we're going to do before starting with anything is some package installations. One of which I'm going to install is Conda collab. I'm going to import Conda collab and then I'll install it as such. Give it some time to download. This might take a bit of time. And once done, you will see something like this like we're starting kernel. This took around 43 seconds. Next, I'm going to install my Nemo. So I'll specify the branch and then I'll run a pip install of the following link as such. I'll get it from GitHub as such. Give this a bit of time and this highly depends on your internet speed. As you can see, Nemo is currently installing. For example, right now it's collecting PyTorch. So all those packages are being installed by Nemo. Just want to point out something over here. It's really interesting to look at the different sub packages. For example, it's really impressive that Nemo is actually utilizing WANDB weights and biases, which I have previously done a very detailed video on. So again, give this a bit of time to install. Okay, so now that Nemo is installed, we're going to install PyNini, which is a Python extension module for compiling, optimizing, and applying grammar rules. So for that, I'm going to run conda install 
Condo Forge, Pinini, and I'm going to pass it the version that I want. If not, you can leave it to the latest version and run this. Now, the reason we're installing Pinini is that is because this tool is used by Nemo's text normalization feature and Imprecise is used to construct the weighted finite state transducer and the created grammars can then be exported and integrated into Sparrowhawk for production. As you can see, it's installing right here. Give this a bit of time to finish. So once done, right now we can import Pinini, right? And since we're here, I'm also going to import Nemo underscore text underscore processing. Right, so once done, we can give Nemo text normalization a try. So I'm going to add text normalization to my Python text-to-speech pre-processing workflow in the following way. It's really easy. All you have to do is from text processing dot text normalization dot normalize. I'm going to import the function that is called normalizer as such. Now we can play around with this normalizer to give us our desired pre-processing statements. So the way we create an instance of normalizer is as such equal to normalizer. Um, you've got parameters such as input case for right now I'll keep it I'll keep it as such and the language which I'll specify to English well let's say my raw text goes something like this I got $2,500 to buy an NVIDIA GPU today so what Nemo is capable of doing is as we will see it is able to recognize the dollar sign over here and not render it as is. So instead of saying I got dollar twenty five hundred to buy an NVIDIA GPU today, Nemo is capable of you know normalizing this text as such. So as you will see right now, we can see that we've got right here I got two thousand five hundred dollars. So Nemo was able to recognize this dollar sign to buy an NVIDIA GPU today. You can play around with other texts as well. Let's say I got a meeting at 10 a.m. as such. Let's see what this gives. I got a meeting at 10 a.m. So instead of saying 10 colon 00 a.m., it was able to recognize that this is actually, that this part in particular refers to time and not any random text, right? So I hope you enjoyed this lecture. It was pretty small. I just wanted to highlight the advantages of Nemo's text normalization feature for text-to-speech synthesis. So I hope you enjoyed this lecture. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and don't forget to register to GTC 2022 and follow the steps to participate in the 3080 Founders Edition GPU by NVIDIA for the giveaway. So I'll be seeing you then.